Last financial year, salmon giant Tassau relocated more than 2,000 seals to the northwest coast in an effort to stop them raiding lucrative fish pens. The practice has been going on for years, but local fishermen have had enough. They say their livelihoods are at stake as the number of seals has exploded. The animals are taken from southern waters up to the northwest coast, a trip of more than 400 kilometres. Our reporter Henry Zwartz joined fishermen off Rocky Cape and filed this report. This vision shows seals being released in Tasmania's northwest. They're some of the 2,000 relocated from the state south last financial year. They're moved if they're caught raiding fish pens owned by salmon company Tassau. Locals say the result is this, seal colonies that have grown into a major problem. Ten or so years ago, they'd be lucky to be 15 or 20 here. Um, now you can see there's hundreds of them. Off Rocky Cape, it wasn't hard to see why fishermen are frustrated. Here a seal darts in to snatch part of Craig Garland's catch. Fellow fisherman David Osborne says it's become commonplace. It's nearly total impact because we can't catch any scalfish. And if we find a place where there's a few, Two minutes later, the seals are there. Another fisherman, Bob Gillam, says he hasn't worked in two months. I haven't been able to net since um, about the 10th of June. Um, the seals got on top of me then, and um, I've been sitting around for two months with, with no income. Not only are fishermen worried about the impact of seals on their fisheries in this area, but they're also concerned that it's only a matter of time before someone gets seriously hurt. And they're getting very aggressive, um, and it's only a matter of time probably this summer when a dinghy will go over. Just putting your hand over the side to pull in a fish is already dangerous. Just as you go to grab him, you'll see it'll take him out of your hands. So, you know, it's not going to be long and one of us guys on the coast are going to lose a hand or something. Tasso is understood to be the only company still relocating seals. In a statement it said, it's investing millions of dollars into new ocean sanctuary pens. It believes that as these pens continue to roll out, there will be a significant reduction in the number of seal relocations. But fishermen fear that will take years. They're calling on Primary Industries Minister Jeremy Rockcliffe to intervene. It'd be just like um, someone dumping two and a half thousand kangaroos on Jeremy Rockcliffe's bloody farm. How would he like it? The government says it recognises the practice of relocating seals is not ideal and is working closely with industry to address the issue. There are no time frames, so for now, the North West will continue as a dumping ground for rogue seals. Henry Zwartz, ABC News.